Hey guys, today I'm making this red, white, and blue patriotic hair bow for Miss Kennedy to wear for 4th of July. And we are going to use the loopy technique again. Um, it's really simple and um, I thought, you know what, I'll do this video and maybe someone out there needs some creative uh, flow. Maybe you are just, you know, needing another idea for a hair bow. So I thought, you know, what, I'll start doing these and um, maybe somebody out there will benefit from them because I know I go blank all the time about what to create. I have no ideas. So maybe this will give you guys some ideas and uh, maybe it'll get me back into crafty mode again. And it's going to give Kennedy some new hair bows. So go ahead and grab all your supplies and let's get started. Okay, here's what we're gonna be working with today. I've got some red and white striped seven eighth inch ribbon. I've also got some blue with white star seven eighth inch ribbon. Um, various corker pieces. I'm using red and white colors. I'm also using some lace that I've cut in strips already and some also some other prints of red and white. Um, of course, you'll need your scissors and your um, heat sealing device. I'm using the Stiff and Quick today as well. Um, I've got some silver tool, some pretty pearl strands of something or another. I've got some rhinestone mesh in red and silver. And we're also going to need a needle and a piece of thread. So that is the supplies we are working with. Go ahead and get everything together. I'm also using a French barrette, which I have already partially lined with 3 8 inch ribbon. So go ahead and grab your supplies and we will get busy. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to make our own um, piece of ribbon. I'm going to need, um, some of my loops are going to be this blue and white uh, star print, and the rest are going to be the red and white stripe. Red and white stripe for the stripes and the flag, and then our stars are going to be at the end. In order to do this, I am using three pieces of the red and white striped ribbon and three pieces of the blue with white star and this is five inches so you'll need 19 inches plus your five inches of star print for a total of 24 inches that's how long our ribbon is going to be when we're finished 24 inches all right, and all we do is you're gonna take your lighter and you're gonna heat seal the ends of all your ribbons. And then you're just going to take your glue gun. I've got mine over here. And we're gonna add just a strip of glue right here at the end and we're gonna fuse the two ribbons together. Make sure they're straight. All right, and that's all you need to do to create our three ribbon pieces. So just a strip of glue right here, and then fuse the two pieces together. Just like that. All right, now we're ready to start putting the bow together. Okay, and like I said before, I've already partially lined my barrette. Just line the, the, top, the top clip with the 3 8 inch ribbon. And I'm going to leave that excess off so I can come around and cover up my strings that are going to be shown here. I'm also going to pop the prong off so it's easier and it doesn't work. You know, it doesn't um, dig into your fingers. That's what I was trying to say. Now I've added a dab of glue right here at the end and I've also secured the end of my ribbons with a little thread and I'm going to put that down on a clip just so it gives it something to hold on to and I leave off like an inch, half an inch at the end here. It's not going to be seen 
anyway so all right so we've got this on our clip now you can take your needle and thread and you can secure it just go in that ribbon right there and come around to the back and now we're going to secure that and we're also going to give our thread a place a holder place so we can start making our loops all right now you can go ahead and start forming your loops and like I said I like a good two inch high loop so just cinch your loops together I mean your ribbon together and form that loop right there now you want to make sure you're holding the loops secure with one hand and you've got your other hand on that thread because we're going to need to wrap the thread around the loops and pull it really tight and I like to go around it a few times so it's good and secure just like that okay now we're just going to finish up with the rest of the loops just like we did that first one hold tight your needle and thread bring up another loop you want to make sure they are the exact same height before you secure it just go back around and tie it off not tie it off but wrap it a few times so it's good and secure and then just finish the rest of your loop Okay, and once you've finished forming your loops, you're going to take your needle and thread and weave it back over to the other side, and then we're going to trim it, and we're going to tie it off. And then you'll have all this thread showing, but don't worry, because this little piece that we saved earlier, we're going to just cover that up. And then the edges right here, you can just trim those and run your lighter over them. Get my lighter. And then you don't have to worry about all that fraying. Okay, now here is where I like to go ahead and wrap my excess ribbon. I like to go ahead and um, glue it to the back of my clip so all those strings are, are covered up. Plus, it also makes sure that my loops are, um, they're going to stay right where they, they need to be while I tug on them. But you can also wait until you're completely finished with your bow if you want to do that because we do have some other things that um, we're going to add to it but um, I'll cover those up again later. As you can see now the back of our clip is covered and you can no longer see the thread strings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to fluff this bow up. You see our blue down here at the end and then all of our stripes right there beside it. Okay, now we're gonna take the loops and we're just gonna fluff them out a little bit. You just wanna take and tug on each one. I can get my fingers in there. Just go ahead and tug, because we want that bubble, that loopy look. So do that to all four loops. And don't worry about how it looks because we've still got to spray it and um, we're going to fluff it up even more. So go ahead and do that to all your loops. Just give them a gentle tug. Actually, you don't have to be gentle. You can do it as hard as you want if you're using like um, an upholstery thread or embroidery floss. You can tug on it a little bit more than you would be able to with the normal thread. All right, so keep on tugging until you have the look that you're going for. I want mine good and bubbly, so I'm just gonna keep on tugging. All right, there we have our bubble loopy bow. Now we're just going to spray it with the stiff and quick and we're going to let that dry for 30 minutes before we add the filler. Okay, now once you have your bow fluffed how you want it, I take a um, styrofoam plate or you can use aluminum foil or a towel. I put my bow right on top 
then I grab my stiff and quick and I give it just a few squirts. You don't want to spray it too much because you don't want a super stiff bow, but you want this nice and crunchy so your loops don't go flat when we start adding the filler. All right, now we're just going to let this dry for about 30 minutes. You can go ahead and fluff it as much as you need, but let that dry for 30 minutes and then we can add the filler pieces. I had and got all my bundles together and now we're just ready to assemble um, again, I've got various pieces of um, blue and white and red and white. I've got two bundles of the red and white and then one of the blue and white. And um, these measure four inches long, all the ribbon strips. And then the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to add my corker pieces, but they also measure four, four inches. All right, so what you want to do is you want to get your bow that we've already looped up. And you want to take and you want to insert your fillers right here along each opening. So we're gonna put two, we're gonna go one of the red and white in the first, the other red and white in the second, and then we're gonna do the blue and white in the third. So just right here in the crease, you're gonna place your bundles right there, and then you're gonna secure it with your thread. Now if you want to, you can sew this Go ahead and grab your needle and thread and get that ready. I'm just going to take my thread and wrap each bundle around and then tie it off in the back because that's the way I like to do it. But go ahead and add all of your bundle pieces. Um, like I said, I do my ribbon bundles first and then we'll do the corkers and then add any extra that we're going to add to it. Okay, some of you are probably looking at it saying, ew, that's ugly, but don't worry because we've still got some fluffing to do. We're going to spray it again, and we're also going to trim up any excess, and um, then we're going to add the rest of our filler, but it's going to look better, I promise. Okay, and if you see any um, pieces that are too tall for you, or too long, excuse me, you can go ahead and take your scissors and start trimming. But make sure if you trim anything, um, you remember to go back and heat seal whatever you trimmed. So I'm just going to trim this up, just the lace. It's a little too, too much. All right, and then you can start going in and pulling your ribbon pieces. Again, just give it a tug, however you want it to look. And once you have it, um, all the pieces tugged in place, I think I'm going to trim that. You'll want to spray it one more time with your um, stiff and quick. All right, see, got to remember to heat seal those again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my plate again, and we're going to give it another spray really quick. All right, now you can go ahead and tug on it some more because this will be the last time that I spray it because I'm going to add the tool and um, other stuff and uh, lace is okay to spray. It'll stiffen up and it won't be sticky, but if you start adding um, spray and tool and marabou and stuff, it just gets really icky. So you always want to add your marabou and your tool last. All right, so I'm going to let this dry for about 30 more minutes, and then we can finish up. Okay, now I'm ready to finish up. Um, I've let my loopy bow dry after I sprayed it with the stiff and quick. And now I'm just going to add the remaining um, filler, which is my corkers. I'm going to use two um, bundles of the red and white, and then on the end I'm going to use a blue and white. Bundle. So just like you did with the um, ribbon filler, you're just going to take your corkers and go back in there in those creases, plop it down, and then secure it with your thread. Or if you're sewing, sew it up. Okay guys, the bow is coming together quite nicely. It's getting a little bit fuller as you can see with all that fluffing and adding. 
Now, of course, you can layer all of your fillers together as one bundle. Um, I just like to do it in two steps, being my, my ribbon fillers and then my corker fillers. I, I've always just done it in steps. I don't know why. I'm, like I said before, I'm just setting my ways. But, of course, you can just do one bundle and get it over with that way. And you can also add your other filler, like your... Um, your fibers and your tool and what have you and um, yeah but like I said I just do probably an unnecessary step but anyways now what I've done is I've added some rhinestone mesh can you see that mesh I've got some clear and then I've got some red and all I did was cut strips and we're just going to add a little glue right here at the bottom of your loop attach your rhinestone come all the way over more glue right here at the bottom so it's not seen and then attach your um, rhinestone but I just added that uh, red and silver or clear excuse me and again if you're working with the rhinestone once you cut it in the strips you'll notice all those scraggly uh, threads showing all you have to do is take your lighter and gently go along the edges and it will send those strips closer to the rhinestone and you won't see them as much. All right, but go ahead and add your rhinestone. If you're gonna add them, I mean, that's totally up to you, but I did just on two loops right there. Okay, and of course, if you wanna add any other um, things to your bow, the more the merrier, right? I mean, there's no wrong or right way to bow making. You know, I mean, no rules to follow unless it's heat sealing. And then that's like the number one rule and everything else is just pretty much having fun. All right, but there's the bow. And I don't know if I'm going to add anything else to it. I think I like the way it looks now. All right, I'm going to show you a little um, trick that I like to do because I told you I liked all my filler right here in the middle. I just like it crunchy and full and just fluffy right there in the middle. And I like my um, bow to be kind of rounded. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. All right. But what I do is I take the bottom four loops. Find your bottom four loops. And I just add a dab of glue right here somewhere. You don't, you don't need a lot. And then I glue these loops together. But make sure you pull all your filler up to the to the middle before you do that. So just a little glue. Get my glue gun again. Just a little glue right there on the side. Press it together. And now you're going to have all your loops, your top and your bottom loops. They're going to be stuck together. And it's going to make all that in the middle just stay right there in the middle. Believe me, none of this is going to go anywhere. So go ahead and finish those loops and then do the top four loops. Okay, and once you are completely satisfied with how your bow looks, you'll want to turn it back over and reattach your prong and clasp. And you are done, guys. Very simple, patriotic hair bow. Hope it gives you a little inspiration to create a new one, a new bow. And if you decide to create something, be sure to visit the Facebook page and leave us a photo.